What is up people of this universe? I hope you guys are having a great day today. It's behind the scenes day today. I know a lot of you asked me, dude, how did you get that cloning video done? How did you duplicate yourself? A lot of people were asking me, so it came to my notice that a lot of people are interested in such kind of videos and that I should be doing some behind the scenes and you know showing you guys what's my process of doing it. So today I'll be showing you all the shots that I take so you guys have some kind of understanding of how to do the shooting part of it and also the editing part. So without further ado, let's move into the process. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to set up your camera the way you want to shoot. For that, you need two things, a phone or a DSLR or whatever you choose and a tripod stand or any kind of stand where the camera or the phone is, uh, you know, it's relaxed and it's in the same spot because you don't want to change the angle or the direction of the shooting in any of the videos because we'll take multiple shots. Suppose you you want to show three clones and you have to take three shots and all those three shots will have to be from the same angle and direction. So you can't change the direction of the camera. For that, you need a tripod stand. This is a tripod stand and this is how a camera is set up. And what are we going to do is, this is my sofa, all right. We're gonna place the camera in this way and maybe, you know, have like three persons, like one, two, three, or maybe four if possible, we'll try. But I think to make it comfortable for the first time, you wanna, you wanna start with three persons. What you wanna keep in mind is all those three persons need to have some spacing in between them, in between each of them, okay? So just keep that in mind because while we edit, we have to have some space to mask them out. So let's get ahead with the shooting part. All right, so this is our first shot, right? We wanna take, uh, we wanna use the whole sofa, right? As you can see in the video, from here till there. So we'll have like three persons sitting to this. So this is my first shot. I'll be choosing some actions to do. You know, maybe I'll be talking to someone on the phone. So let's let's begin with the first shot, right? Let's move on to the second shot. So I'll just look how much space I took in my first shot, right? So this is probably my second shot, right? All right. So this was my second shot. So my third shot will be somewhere around here, right? I want to keep as much space as possible. All right, so this was my third shot and pretty much it's over. The, the shooting process is over, so simple. It took like two to three minutes, right? It's simple guys, right? So the tricky part comes in the editing process, right? The shooting part is done, we nailed it. I think so, I'll check the footage and I'll let you know. But let's move into the editing part. Hey, welcome back. So this is the editing part and I'm gonna show you step by step how to edit these shots that we took. But keeping in mind, there are two softwares that we can use. One is Final Cut Pro, which is on Mac, and the other is Adobe Premiere Pro, which is available for both Mac and PC. Without further ado, let's hop into the software. All right, so this is Final Cut Pro for Mac, all right? So what you wanna do here is go ahead to File, go to New, and create a new event, all right? type in whatever you want to call it. I'm calling this cloning BTS behind the scenes. And the settings should be video. I keep it 4K because I want the highest resolution possible uh, for digital. You can keep it 1080p, 720p, up to your you know, desires. But don't go below 1080p, that's my suggestion. Keep this as, as it is and make sure this is 24p always. Just click OK. And if you can see here, the new event has been created. Now. Here we have to create a new project under the event. Just name the project with the same name, cloning BTS. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now what you want to do is import the files that you shot from your phone or camera to your laptop. Okay, it's as simple as dragging and dropping it here. Your video will be ready in a while. If you see, this is the task bar where it tells you what task is going on and how long it will take. So right now it's transcoding and, and analysis is going on of the video that I dragged and dropped. Just give it a bit of time and we'll come back. So as you can see, the process is complete and you can see the video is ready to be edited. Now what you wanna do is cl 
drag and drop this over here okay as simple as that this this area this little area is called the timeline where you'll be editing the whole footage this is the effects panel where, you, where you'll be choosing certain effects for the video and this is uh, the parameters of the video right so like transforming the video cropping distortion uh, color grading and all these things right now what we want to do is because we have three persons right so we want to create three shots out of this one video just scrub through your video and see the first starting point i think this is the starting point for my first scene okay this one now what you want to do is make sure the video is with video file is selected and it's in yellow um, if you're on mac hold on command b if you're on uh, pc using adobe premiere pro hold on control and b all right so just what it does is it cuts your video at the portion you selected now the this portion of that video is not needed so you can go ahead and just delete it now this is our starting point for the first scene now we want to choose the ending point right okay so let's see how long this goes okay so this is our ending point because I'm, i've started watching the i've started using the phone so again go ahead choose the video file command b on mac control b on pc select so this this piece of footage is our first scene right now we want to start selecting our second scene same process go to the second scene's starting point now you have three freshly cut out scenes that you want to clone right so the first thing you want to do is you have to uh, equalize the duration of each scene because only then you'll have the perfect cloning video right so if you go ahead select the first scene and you go here and see how long it, it is it's 17 seconds and 14 milliseconds check the second one it's 16 and 9 third one is 16 and 18 so what you want to do is you want to you want to choose the lowest duration and the rest of the video should be the same amount of time so choose this pinch and zoom and select this side and go drag to the left side right till it says 1609 so now we have three shots that are equal in time now what you want to do is this is my first shot so I'm gonna keep the first shot here and my second shot this is my second shot I'll drag on top of it and my third shot will be on the top of the second shot okay now drag back the cursor to this point so what you want to do is go ahead and open the effects panel if this is not open for you what you can do is just go on here and click this button right so it'll open up go on to search and search for mask when you search for mask you'll get something like draw mask right so drag and drop it onto this file okay so now when you hover over your video you can see there's a pen tool that you can use right so what I'm going to do is I'll just make it a bit smaller so I can have the black area as well. You have to scrub through the video and see what's the longest position of your hand or any body part that goes away from your body, right? So if you see my left hand, I'm using my left hand, right? Okay, so if you see my left hand stays very close to my body I'm not using so much of space so I don't need a lot of space to mask out so let's begin just start your selecting points vaguely and like this just go ahead and select select and close so when you close this see what happens it has masked out what this means is the area in this in these points will be the visible area and the rest of the uh, rest of the video will not be visible so when the rest of the video is not visible the video below it will be visible so now if i if i hide uh if i hide the points you see it's as simple as that now if you scrub through this you can see both of them are moving how cool is that right it's amazing now moving on how we can mask out this one is choose this video go on to draw mask drag and drop it on top of it and just scrub through the video and see how uh, how much of space I'm using for the second scene 
again I'm in my own zone I'm in my own space I'm not using a lot of space so I can go ahead freely and just select 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 and done that's it guys we have three clones we have beautifully created a cloning video right if I go ahead and hide the points you can see boom now um, if you look closely right when my second scene my center clone character um, raises his hand if I if I go close up 100% right I, I'm here and you can see um, yeah look at the shadow look at the shadow of the hand look at the shadow see what happens did you see that it was it seemed like it got cut out after this point right that's because if you see the pointers that's because I chose this much point but the shadow is going beyond this point but it becomes invisible in this area so what you want to do is if you see such critical information just go ahead and stretch this one out a bit stretch this one out now just kick back and see and if you see the shadow it's more natural now uh, the final thing is uh, it's called color grading right if you see this part seems like the colors are not matching in both the scenes look at this and the same thing is happening here right so we have to correct this one so let's go ahead and I'll show you how we can do that choose the first scene this is the color grading side so just try adding a bit of exposure why because if you see this part of the video is dark and this part is brighter right so let's see what happens it's immersed into the brightness of the other part of the video like if I go back you can see that hard cut right if I go a bit higher in the exposure it becomes natural but if you see this part they don't match so what you want to do is go back and go into the second video this side because it's dull and increase the exposure on this side as well now if you see uh, okay so if you see there's still a hard cut in between why because the pointers from this masking is this shaped and the pointer from this masking is this shaped so the space in between is probably the third videos um, color grading or exposure so choose the uh, third video go back and fit the video so you can see the third part expose a bit to the point you it matches color grading okay so if you see they're still not they're still not matching uh, you know if it's a bit of work around what you can do is go back to the second video go to the parameters panel and you can increase the feather what this does is it kind of softens the the edges of the pointers so if you see from this side you see the difference yeah that's what it did and go to the first video do the same thing soften the feathers yeah now it seems pretty great I hope I've explained everything and if you have any kind of questions just let me know uh, in the comment section or just DM me on Instagram and I will explain everything um, if you play again Now you have a final product. How you want to export it is just go here, click on share, go to export file. And now I'll tell you the about the codec that I was talking about. Go to settings and make sure the format is video and audio, not only video. And the video codec should be H264. And hit next. Select where you want to save it and just save it. Now again, go going to the taskbar you see your video is being exported all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I want to see your work as well please if you start creating this cloning videos 
tag me and show me your work. I'm really excited to see your work. Um, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Thanks a lot. Show me some love. Hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, comment down below. Send me a DM if you need anything. And I will see you in the next video.